In our video, we will analyze the critical path method and how this will help the construction business. Project management in the construction business. Critical path method by Paula Lopez, Maria Pina, Eduardo Martinez, Guillermo Castillo. In our company research, the issue to be analyzed contains many factors that are critical for the ending process of construction a house. Many of these are sense non-compliance of resources with schedules, standards, budgets, take corrective actions, shift resources, develop alternatives, and weather conditions. The company that we will be analyzing is Dura Construction. Dura Construction is a family-owned business founded by Mr. Thomas Tudor seven years ago. It is located in Hidalgo, Texas, and they build all over the Rio Grande Valley. They specialize in residential and commercial construction. After doing the critical path method analysis, the construction supervisor can conclude an estimate of the total time it will take to finish the project, identify the critical activates which make up the critical path of the project, and the amount of slack, excess time for each activity. In our example for the application of the critical path method, we did a recompilation of all the essential activities that need to be performed in the construction of the house as you can see in the following table. This table shows the different activities with their priority relationship. The first task is purchasing the lot. The second one will be cleaning and excavation. This process takes approximately three days. Task three will be foundation, taking three days as well. Task four is plumbing and water. This takes four days. Task five is framing. Task six is electricity. This process takes eight days. Task seven is sheetrock. This process takes seven days. Task eight is insulation, taking two days approximately. Task nine is brick and roof, taking eight days. Task then is tile and cabinets, taking five days. Task 11 is air condition, taking five days. Task 12 is painter and electrical outlets, taking six days of the process. Task 13 is showers, bathroom, and ceramic tiles, taking eight days. Task 14 is landscape, sprinkles, and fence, taking two days. Task 15 is the cleaning, taking just one day. And the last task will be the inspection, taking just one day. By, by following this previous demonstration, we can continue building our critical path method diagram with the information provided in our President's Activity Table. After completing the diagram, we continue with the next stage of our analysis, which is to calculate the earliest start, earliest finish, earliest start, latest finish for each task. Earliest start is the earliest that an activity can begin. This can be calculated by adding the duration of each task and the following one. For example, task A equals 3 and task B equals 5. The earliest start that task B can be done is by eight days. After calculation the critical path for our diagram, we add all the times of each task. After getting this value, we start with the last activity and go backwards. For example, our last task has a latest finish value at 52 days, which is the value of our critical path. When then subtract the time value for the last task, which will give us the value for our last start. We do this for every situation. Even though there is a time set for the completion of the construction project, we have to take in consideration the external factors that may delay our process. For example, standards, budgets, corrective actions, special orders, develop alternatives, and weather conditions. This was some research for you to understand the critical path method using an example of the construction of a house. 
We hope you all understood. Thank you and have a great day.